Look, the, 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 the wilderness approach uh, is, 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 has been the same from the beginning. Like we really want to make sure that every experience we offer is life changing. And we mean that in, 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 the, in the deepest of senses that, you know, someone must actually move there and go, wow, you know, wow. And uh, a life changing moment is, you know, you want people to, and the only way you can achieve that is to make sure that the thing that they see or the experience is wow. So we will make sure that the conservation efforts will always be at the front of what we're doing. It's actually not the, 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 the tourism, it's the conservation first. It's our first step. Then the experience, because you can't have the experience without the, 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 the wildlife or the, the flora and fauna in the first instance. So for us, uh, we, 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 we don't see any need or any reason to change that approach. Uh, what might be uh, how we adapt and as we massage our strategy will be just a, 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 you know, where we find market, where we go to get market. Uh, historically, it's been very American based and that's a lot to do with our shareholding base. Um, but also just historically, a lot of the Americans will come out to us. But we are beginning to really look at other areas as well. So Europe, is, Europe and uh, England and the Far East are now, you know, we're finding more and more people coming out of India as well. Um, and, and this has to do as well with the partnership with government because government will, 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 will loosen its view on visa uh, entrance and, and, and stuff like that, that really just helps us to find other markets. And the more that happens, the more opportunity for the entire industry, not just a wilderness thing, all of us benefit uh, when, 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 when Botswana becomes more attractive globally. Uh, for, for, for visitors to come to it. Uh, we, we, we operate in very remote areas and inherently by being remote, they become, there's a dangerous place. Um, if you are harmed in any way, uh, it, it can be challenging for us to find ways of, of making sure that you are uh, in safe hands. We spend a lot of our energy on safety, health, um, not just for our staff, uh, but our guests, everybody, our suppliers, a lot. We are, we are really, really quite, um, dis it's a disproportionate amount of care. So for instance, all of our, uh, the majority of our lodges are, are, are on raised walkways, for instance. Uh, you've, you've experienced some of them. Uh, guests who come will often wonder, why do you have this? I mean, it seems such a waste, but it's, it's got a lot to do with, with Firstly, safety. I mean, it's primarily safety. Even our, uh, I mean, there are other benefits, you know, the visual, you can see a little bit better, but primarily that's why you've got, but now you've got elephants that want to cross. So how do you accommodate the safety of guests and, and, and people and also allow animals that want to pass going to the waterfront? Whatnot? So you'll find our walkways have got these little dips and, you know, to allow animals through. So in that instance, we are, in, you know, we are constantly, I mean, we escort our guests back to their rooms, for instance. Uh, you're never you, 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 there's, you're never short of a torch at night with a guide to walk you, the professional guide to make sure that you're in safe, safe hands. Uh, each of our camps has got qualified first aid uh, staff. And in most of our camps now, we've also got qualified nurses and a health post. These are first, first of their kinds in the industry. Not many people have got medical. Uh, we have a, 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 a partnership which is called Wilderness 24. So 24 hours a day, we've got a doctor at the end of a line on a, you know, on, on a satellite phone to be able to engage with anyone should they be injured. I mean, we get people who get ill, you know, it's, it, we're human. Someone gets uh, uh, an, 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 an allergic reaction and uh, it's three o'clock in the morning. Uh, they can pick up, um, pick up the phone. We've got little uh, digital phones in the rooms, contact one of our managers, the manager contacts the doctor and an assessment is made as to how can we move people to health, fly them out, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, safety. Is, is, is paramount. I mean, human safety uh, is the one time I'll say I'm more concerned about anything but that. You know, we want humans to come home safely. Uh, second would obviously be the conservation efforts that we've got. So uh, we can't weigh up a human life over any other life out there. Um, but yes, it is, a, it is an unsafe, it, it can be an unsafe area, but we, we believe we are amongst the leaders in, in, in providing a safe and healthy environment. <laughs>